This ranch was started by my great-great-uncle, Joe Majay, in 1916. He was born in Hungary, and he came to the United States when he was 20 years old. And when he got to the United States, he had a dollar in his pocket. And he came to Cheyenne, Wyoming, and he was a shoe cobbler for uh, Fort Russell. He homesteaded 20 miles from here in 1916. And right away he started, uh, he had a 320 acres, and he started farming part of that, and he had some Hereford cattle. He started with um, horses and wagons and one bottom plows, and before he died he had eight bottom plows and four-wheel drive tractors. You know, for Joe, uh, he, he really lived the American dream to, to go through all those, those times. Hello and welcome to the American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. Cow-calf operators across the country are constantly working to improve their bottom line by making more of their available resources. On this episode, sponsored by VitaFirm, we'll meet one Wyoming ranch family whose legacy of improvement started with only a dollar more than 100 years ago. Nestled between the bluffs of the eastern Wyoming landscape, Thaler Land and Livestock has been recognized for their efforts in environmental stewardship by the Wyoming Stock Growers Association and the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. With their progressive approach to ranch management and the commitment they demonstrate to their family, the land, and the animals in their care, Thaler Land and Livestock truly represent the modern American rancher. Early this spring, we had the opportunity to visit LaGrange, Wyoming, and meet Dennis Thaler, his daughter Brandy Evans, and her husband Kevin, who are now the fourth generation of their family to run the ranch, started by Joe Majay in 1916. Our ranch has been in our family for 102 years. We're very proud of our heritage and our family. Uh, I think it comes with a lot of pride and. Uh, respect for our ancestors and what all they have built and how they take care of the land and the cattle and I think that's been passed on to me. I, I enjoy ranching. I enjoy the lifestyle. When I was growing up my dad always said I didn't have to come back and run the ranch but I could use it as a tool to accomplish whatever I wanted to accomplish and I feel that it has done that. Since the very beginning we've always focused on improving our ranch uh, from the land to the cattle, and we want to continue that, even if it means improving on the improvements. We want to continue to be innovative and uh, good stewards. There is some responsibility for sure with upholding that tradition and that heritage, but I feel confident that I can do it and that our family can continue on. I guess it's just in my genes. When Brandy and I got married, with her being an only child in a small family, you know, family and history was very important to them. Uncle Joe working hard to create a bigger ranch for his relatives and taking on younger generations and being able to leave that to his, to his family. He uh, was very frugal, but he, he was very generous. He gave farms to the uh, children's home in Torrington, he uh, helped a lot of young producers get started. And so he was very, very generous with his money and with his time. My grandpa moved to the ranch in 1940s to help manage part of the ranch. Uh, he, he had a ranching background to begin with. He was very innovative and a very hard worker. My dad is the one that was always out to improve things. So he was the one that kind of got us started. My dad and I were really close, and, and uh, whatever idea one would come up with, the other made sure it worked. 
instead of buying more land, we had a lot of land. And so we thought if we could possibly just start improving all that, that's what we wanted to do. And we really dove into it hard. We leveled land we, to make our irrigation uh, more efficient. And then we put in pivots and, and all that and the rotational grazing. And uh, it's been such a fun run to do all those projects uh, in my lifetime. And I hope Brandy and Kevin have a chance to do, improve on those improvements and do the same thing, but just make it simpler and easier. I think the main goal is we always get better every year. I mean, that's the focus, whether it's cattle or, or pasture or education, you know, we want to get better every year. The better we can have our natural resource, the better we can have our grass, the better it is for our cattle. And that's what we were working for all along, to make sure that those cattle had the best of everything. I think it's very important for us to care for our animals as, as good as I can, not only for ourselves and our bottom line, but for our reputation as cattlemen. It's what keeps us going, and without healthy cattle and, and good cattle and a reputation, we're, we're out of business. I would say that we're the modern day cowboys. We, uh, we try to be innovative and try to keep up with the modern technology to provide the best beef that we possibly can and to take care of our land in the best possible way uh, using the latest resources that are available to us. It's progressive means to just maybe not do it the same as what everybody else does it, you know. We, We've always strived ourselves to, to try to do it a little differently as far as the rotations and adding value at the feedlot and have the flexibility to sell them when we want to sell and graze cattle under irrigated pivots and just be a, be a little bit different than the rest of the guys. I feel like being aggressive keeps your options open. The more aggressive we are, the more different markets we can, we can hit. You know, um, we're not stuck in a common flow of selling cattle at some point we can we can hit anything we want to hit you know any time frame we want to get to I think the main goal is to make money um, that's always the start and you know and also take care of our natural resources improve our our genetics um, which Kevin is doing a real good job with that also keeping our cattle healthy we want this ranch uh, to be sustainable so we need to take care of our land and our water and everything to make it sustainable. You know, we want it. We want uh, my grandsons to um, be able to continue on this operation if they so wish. Their aggressive pursuit of sustainability has led Thaler Land and Livestock to make many ranch improvements. When we come back, we'll learn how this legacy of improvement has shaped their views of animal health and nutrition. We'll also see how one unique product has saved the ranch substantial labor while improving animal health and decreasing treatment costs. Stay tuned for more of The American Rancher, brought to you by Vitafirm. The American Shorthorn Association is America's oldest beef breed association. Shorthorn cattle have been documented to produce high quality carcasses that outyield other British breeds. The added docility and maternal advantage of shorthorns make them an outstanding choice to add heterosis to your commercial cattle operation. Shorthorns truly are a breed focused on performance with purpose. For more information, visit our newly renovated website at shorthorn.org or call 816-599-7777. Take control of current market conditions on Superior Livestock's weekly video auction. Register your lot load cattle by Tuesday. Sell them on Thursday. Putting you two days from money with the largest cattle marketing network in North America. Superior Livestock's weekly video auction has over 8,000 active and qualified buyers, and they're paying top dollar. Yep. Jump in. The bidding is hot. Call us or click SuperiorLivestock.com to learn more. We want a trust relationship with our customers. We want them to know that we care about them, that our products work, and we'll stand behind them. To come back and purchase, to bid and buy their customers' cattle, they're very, very dedicated to a customer's product, and I think that creates a lot of longevity. 98, that's 63,000, thank you.
Welcome back to the American Rancher. If you're a cow-calf producer, you know that weaning is the most stressful time in a calf's life. For an operation like Thaler Land and Livestock, who run 1,500 cows, it's critical to continually improve the weaning process. Several years ago, they added a small feedlot, which gave them the ability to background their own cattle. While this improvement maximized their ability to market cattle at the right time, it also gave them a chance to improve the health of wean calves for their future buyers. Well, the biggest challenge we face during weaning is the health of the calves. You know, bringing them in, keeping them healthy, getting them to start to eat, and, and moving on. You know, weaning is the hardest time as far as stress. They're not used to what they're eating, you know, the change in environment, um, the change in herd groups. If those cattle don't drink, it, and don't eat, the health of those cattle go, go down. And if a cattle's not eating and drinking, we're doctoring and we're spending more time labor-wise down in that feed yard than I'd like to be. It's important for our cattle to get off to a healthy start during weaning to help our workforce and the cost of our, the, the vet bills and the time involved to doctor those cattle, as well as the pounds that they're not gaining when they're sick. It's very critical to get them started just for health to begin with, and then also in rate of gain. I mean, the second they hit your feed yard, you want to be moving ahead. You don't want to lose too much ground. We want to make sure our cattle are healthy before they go anywhere else. We wouldn't send them anywhere if they wouldn't, weren't healthy. Whoever buys our cattle, we want them to have success with them. And when they come back to us, we want them to say, you know, that was the best group of cattle that I ever bought and that would make us feel good, and then they're gonna be back. It's important for us to send healthy cattle to our buyers because we want them to buy again. And most of the time we've had repeat customers or at least repeat bidders on every group of cattle we've ever sold because of the health. They know it's a reputable operation and they know that we're gonna do everything we can to keep them healthy before they get them. We've got the genetics to, to so they produce but we want them healthy so they don't have anything that's going to slow them up when they get to that other ranch or other feedlot. Well, weaning is a hard time where you uh, take your, the calf away from the cow and, and so that's a heck of a stress and they're not eating right and so then you, they need more, uh, more nutrition, better nutrition. I think that's where the Vita Charge really came in. That gave them a heck of a boost, I think better than, than what we've ever had before. We try to alleviate the stress for one, just you know, try to pick a good day to do it. You know, don't do it right for a weather system. We try to vaccinate them as soon as possible. We'll use the Vita Charge drench and we'll also have tubs out there so they can get on some sort of you know, added stress reliever as soon as possible. As we all know, uh, the weaning time is certainly a stressful period, not only on the livestock, but us as producers. This time period is critical uh, to get these cattle off to a good start because we all know if these cattle are healthy, they're going to the feed bunk and they're performing, uh, we're less likely to have to treat these cattle or pull these cattle down the road. Our Vita Charge line of products is specifically designed and formulated to, to help protect these cattle and help them recover during these times of high stress. You know, anytime it's, uh, you have a hard go during that weaning period, uh, we see these cattle back off of feed. You know, we see them out uh, lounging around, not acting like they are feeling good. And, and that's one of the things that our Vita Charge line of products will certainly help with. It'll get these cattle to the feed bunk. It'll get them to the water trough. It'll get them off to a good start, get them performing so they can go out and do their job. I think the, the first time we noticed it working was within the first week of weaning. Calves were huddled around the tubs, calves were at the water tank, calves were at the bunk. You know, they were healthy, they were licking themselves. It was pretty obvious in that first week. Before Vita Charge weaning was a little hit or miss sometimes. We'd have good years and we'd have bad years. You know, in our bad years, we'd doctor 10 a day, you know, in that first 30 days of weaning. I think once we started using Vita Charge, it got more consistent that we we relied on and believed that we would not have any issues. Well, right off the bat, I think, you know, we had less, less sickness in the, in the feedlot, and when you have less sickness, 
you're, you're not working all your help uh, trying to sort off sick stuff all the time. So that helped with the labor. I think that our challenge of labor is something we try to focus on. So we really try to make it as easy for our guys as possible. The less time they have to spend doctoring calves that are sick and the less time they have to uh, just be checking them, that really helps make their day easier. When we wean and we, we go right to the body charge drench, I'll go 45 days without any issues usually. And those calves seem to come out of the drench, hit the stress tubs, and go straight to the bunk. And I've had no, no issues the last three years that we've used that product. Like a lot of other operations around the country, Thaler Land and Livestock uh, does not have an abundance of labor available. Uh, anytime we can keep these cattle healthier, which requires less pulls, which requires less treatment, uh, it, it's a win-win for everybody. Overall, it helps our bottom line to keep healthy cattle versus having to go through and doctor them and get them back to health. Uh, my previous feedlot guy was here for 30 years, and the second we switched over, he could tell that it was a lot less work on him. He greatly appreciated the product. <laughs> When we come back, we'll take a closer look at VitaCharge to learn how it's helping operations across the country protect and recover animals from stress. And we'll see how the crew at Thaler Land and Livestock plans to continue to foster the spirit of improvement for another generation. Stay tuned for more of The American Rancher brought to you by VitaFirm. When your cattle are stressed, they're not eating, they're not gaining, and they're certainly not healthy or comfortable. VitaCharge, from the makers of VitaFirm, protects and helps livestock recover from the effects of stress. Use it at weaning, shipping, receiving, or any time your livestock will encounter stress as a proactive measure to increase appetite and promote health and performance. VitaCharge, protect and recover. To learn more, visit VitaFirm.com. Superior Livestock Auction is kicking off the 2018 Summer Sales Series with the Corn Belt Classic June 13th and 14th in Council Bluffs, Iowa. This two-day sale features value-added program calves, yearlings, and breeding stock, including top northern genetics. Live from the Ameristar Hotel and Casino, broadcast on Superior click to bid and the Cowboy Channel. For consignment or buyer registration, click superiorlivestock.com or call 800-422-2117. Consignments are now open for the Superior Spring Horse Auction. Would you like to show your horse to a potential buyers from all across the nation? Market your best with the best at Superior Livestock Spring Horse Auction on Saturday, June 9th. This is an excellent opportunity to showcase your ranch horse, rope horse, trail and under saddle horse. Broadcast live on Dish Network and DirecTV. Call to consign today, 800-422-2117. Welcome back to the American Rancher. This episode is brought to you by VitaFirm. For more than 100 years, Dennis Thaler's family has worked to improve their Wyoming ranch. And as the next generation takes the reins, it's clear the conservation efforts will continue. In the final segment of our show, we'll hear how Kevin and Brandy Evans plan to continue to advance their operation with better genetics, improved nutrition, and by continuing to adapt to the latest technologies. But first, we'll learn more about the difference VitaCharge has made to their operation. The weaning period is one of the most stressful times in a calf's life. Uh, you know, they're being separated from their mother, they're being asked to go to the feed bunk, they're being asked to basically transition their diet to the next phase. It's one of the most important times for us to uh, alleviate as much stress as possible. All of the research shows that if we get these cattle off to a good start, they remain healthy, uh, they're gonna be more profitable throughout the feeding period. The first time we decided to use it, there was, you know, basically I didn't wanna just split up herd group, so I just decided everything that was gonna stay in the feedlot was gonna use the Vita Charge Drench. Um, for those first 45 days that those cattle were in our feed yard, we doctored approximately 10 head. Our Vita Charge line of products is offered in many different options. Uh, we have a paste, we have a drench, we have a water soluble version, and we have the stress tub, which is in a 50 or 200 pound size. 
when we process the calves at weaning time, our calves are coming straight off our trucks from our own mother cows. And right as we're giving the vaccinations, we're drenching the Vita Charge. Them calves will leave our sorting chute and already set up in the pens will be anywhere from three to four stress tubs waiting for them. So when we drench them, we have only drenched them once right at processing. They will, depending on the pens, we try to put one tub to every 25 head if possible in the pens and we'll just let them finish those tubs out one time. All of our VitaCharge products contain Amifirm. Within the VitaCharge line of products, Amifirm is really gonna promote intake within these cattle as well as allow for more nutrient absorption. I think that the VitaCharge helps the most with the appetite gained. I mean, I think they're ready to eat. I think they're ready to, you know, move on to the next ration a lot faster than, than the calves in the, in the previous years without the VitaCharge. I believe in the Amifirm a lot, mostly because I've seen the difference in the, in the cattle's consumption. Um, and, and I firmly believe if you got a healthy gut in the, your cattle, you have a healthy animal. One of the coolest things about the VitaCharge line of products is that can, it can be used in a multitude of situations. Not only is it a perfect product for stalker operators to use when receiving these cattle, it's awesome for the cow-calf producer to use when weaning the cattle, uh, or if they have a calf that's not feeling just right, as well as it can be utilized in the show industry to keep these ca the consumption up on these cattle when they're hauling them up and down the road during these high stressful times. When we can get VitaCharge in these animals during the stressful periods of time, uh, we can get them to the feed bunk faster, we'll get their consumption up, uh, which in turn means for healthier, higher performing, more profitable cattle. When we started using VitaCharge the very first year that we used it, was probably one of our better years as far as gains that we would had in a long time, as far as the best gains, least amount of sickness. It might be costing us more up front, but we feel that it's helping us with less vet bills, and in the long run, we feel that we're getting more benefit out of it. I guess I want to achieve improvement. I mean, we just, we want to get better every year. We want to not be satisfied with being average, we want to we want the herd to be better, we want the land to improve, we we just want to get better. We at Biozyme understand how hard producers across the country are working uh, to improve their, their land, their livestock, and their operations uh, for future generations down the road. You know, we are committed to helping these producers achieve those goals. Growing up on a ranch, and Brandy growing up on a ranch, I don't think there's any better way we can raise our kids. And I think that's one of our goals is for this place to be available for them if they want to continue on their legacy. I wouldn't trade one day being anywhere else here. With, I'm so glad we get to be here with my kids, that they get to hang out with Grandpa and learn from Grandpa. And He has been great about allowing us to step in and make changes on the ranch that we need to make. We have a very good family heritage here, 100 years. Uh, we're very proud of that, but we're also very proud of the fact that we have evolved over those 100 years and not we are not still doing things the same way. I'm very proud of what Brandy and Kevin have done. They both have uh, um, so much pride in, in everything that they do, and I couldn't be any more pr proud of, of all of them. I hope our, our ranch continues on for another 100 years and continues to be innovative and improve and be progressive. It's been really exciting to have all the, the things that we've accomplished, uh, I think with Brandy and Kevin and Hadley and Hudson. You know, I think they're just gonna keep making improvements on the improvements. Thank you so much, Dennis, Kevin, and Brandy, for sharing your story with us. If you're feeling inspired to make some improvements in your operation, you can learn more about VitaCharge products by giving them a call or logging on to VitaFirm.com to find the dealer nearest you. And while you're online, be sure to check us out at TheAmericanRancher.com or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick for the entire American Rancher team. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.